this topic using ta using gold trees right and or graphs now problem decomposition we will here we will do here with the help of rule based system okay again rule based system is used to decompose problems okay so first of all let us see what do you mean by rules these are this system is also called as production system fine so this is also called as production system so let us see what do you mean by rules now what happens is we have rules for each and everything okay that come across us so most experts are capable of expressing their knowledge in the forms of rules for example you can see over here if the traffic light is green then the action is go okay so here this is one rule what is the rule the traffic light is green this is the rule so what i have to do if the traffic light is green then I, my action should be go similarly second rule so this is one rule the second rule is if the traffic light is red then action is to stop okay so these are the rules which i have written using if then okay so this rule based system we also call it as production based production system okay so these rules provide us description about how to solve a particular problem okay so i can say that in order to decompose a problem into parts i'll be using rules fine so i have a rule in the form lhs and right hand side left hand side and right hand side in left hand side i'm having certain pattern okay for example in a previous lecture i wanted to go for a dinner so dinner is my pattern and my action will be i'll either go to pizza hut or i'll go to saravana bhavan okay this is example i borrowed from last video okay this is an example you're familiar with identifier okay which we use in different languages what does an identifier it is nothing but letter followed by letter or digit so identifier will be compulsory starting with letter only so it is letter followed by a letter or a digit with any combinations okay but first letter is compulsory so there is no combination the star means zero or any number okay so this is nothing but definition of identifier so you can see what is my pattern over here pattern is of identifier if i get this what action will be done so this is nothing but production system this is just an example of how these rules are written okay so rules rules are written in this fashion if antecedent then consequent if i get matching with this then i have to do this if i get match in pattern matched over here then this action i have to take so pattern is called as antecedent and uh, action is called as consequent and or these are all used to combine this antecedent and consequent part you can have multiple antecedents you can have multiple antecedents or uh, which you can join with the help of and or or okay if for example you can see if antecedent 1 and antecedent 2 and antecedent n then i have to go for consequent okay for example you can check here if age of the customer is less than 18 and cash withdrawal is greater than 1000 then signature of parent is required so here this is one antecedent this is the other antecedent they are joined with the help of word and okay and here then conclusion part is there fine so i want to what i can say over here i can comment over here that in order to solve a given goal i will break i will break my requirement into set of primitive goals that can be solved trivially okay so in order to do all this so i hope you have understood what do you mean by uh, rule based system and what do you mean by um, our topic is rule based system so i have taught you what do you mean by rules okay now let us see how to achieve this there are two ways to achieve this one is using forward chaining and the other one is using backward chaining so let us see the example for forward chaining what do you mean by it so it starts with facts okay whatever i want to do with respect to this i have something see i have something called as rules and facts okay so this one starts with facts see what rules applies so you have to start with fact you have to check what rule you can apply this approach is called as data driven it depends upon data okay rules are rules are triggered by the pattern in the data okay we will see like pattern gives us 
action means if we find a particular pattern in the given database we take a particular action okay same fashion we have to do in forward chaining fine this is also called as pattern directed inference system means depend upon pattern i go to conclusion so we call it as pattern directed inference system inference is nothing but conclusion okay and application of this forward chaining is in analysis and interpretation example you can check it is xcon it is xcon export configured okay now i'll tell you later on about this xcon it is actually it's a configuration software okay so this is uh, one export system which has been designed okay xcon software okay it is an export system that has been designed okay it automatically configures computer system okay it is an example of forward chaining and its constraints are rules like whatever constraints are there like if this is there and this is there and this is there like if this and this and this then do this particular thing these kind of rules are used in this exon system so it is a forward chaining example for forward chaining okay, okay. it is automatically configure configures computer system so this is an example of export system so we will see what do you mean by forward chaining with the help of example r1 r2 r3 these are the rules given to us okay so if hot and smoky then add fire okay this is first rule if hot and smoky then add fire okay this is first rule given to you if alarm beeps so i can say this is one pattern alarm beeps is one pattern hot and smoky is one pattern okay if alarm beeps then add smoky third one is if fire then add switch on sparkles so hot and smoky is one pattern fire is action alarm beeps is one pattern smoky is the action fire is a pattern switch on sprinklers is the action okay so these are the three rules given to us then for the alarm beeps this is fact given to us i said facts will be given to us so this is one fact given to us this is the other fact given to us first fact given to us is that alarm is beeping alarm beeps second fact is that it is hot okay so now we have used uh, for we have to use forward chaining and we have to derive few more facts okay so let us start so what is our first fact given alarm beeps so if you go to find this alarm beeps it is over here the pattern matches with rule 2 so rule 2 pattern matches and what is generated action with it smoky so what is my output fact generated i got this new fact my fact is smoky okay now i have the fact smoky now what i'll do is use rule 1 like my other fact already given to me is hot and smoky is just now generated so i'll take both the facts hot and smoky so my pattern is what my pattern is hot and smoky so what action will be taken by me is fire so here is the action taken by me that is fire so this is other fact that has been generated so from where it is generated it is written in front okay now finally i have smoky i have fire everything is there with me so i'll use rule number 3 that is i am having fire so what i have to do if i am having fire i simply have to switch on the sprinklers so thereby i switch on the sprinklers okay so new facts generated by me are smoky fire and switch on sprinklers these are the three facts generated so what we have done is they have given us rules they have given us facts we start by using facts okay we start by using fact like alarm beep is the first fact i started by it so if alarm beeps i my answer is smoky okay i went to smoky and i also use because smoky requires one more thing that is hot so hot was the give, fact given to me so i have taken hot and smoky i got fire so i have taken this fire further and if fire my answer is what switch on sparkler so what will be my output my output will be switch on sprinklers okay. so this is the way how forward chaining is done next is backward chaining now backward chaining what it will do is it will start with certain hypothesis okay now the previously what we have seen it was starting by facts facts and rules okay now this one is going to start with what do you want to prove or what do you want to find out or what is your goal and this is called as goal driven previous one was called as data driven this is called as goal driven okay we have to derive facts okay so we have to look out for the rules that will help us in answering it okay so what we want to derive is we will use and we will go for 
the rules what has been given so generally in medical diagnosis this backward chaining is an example it is applied over there okay let us see with the help of an example rules are given to us facts are given to us and goal is also given should i switch sprinklers on so what we have to do is we have to start with this and we have to derive this previously we were starting with facts we were using rules and we were getting goal now what we have to do we have to take the goal we have to take the rules and we have to uh, derive the facts let us see how so my question is should i switch sprinkler sprinklers on so this is my hypothesis switching the sprinkler on okay so if i switch the sprinkler on what will i get is switch sprinkler on what will i get is fire you can check out over here switch sprinkler on so i have to start in this fashion switch sprinkler on so come reverse what is my output fire so then next go to fire what is my output hot and smoky you can see over here in this diagram fire so my output is hot and smoky so the moment when i have hot and smoky the moment when i have smoky what do i get my alarm beeps so finally what do i get alarm beeps so alarm beeps hot these are nothing but the facts what i derived it so we did it in reverse fashion we started with our goal okay then we used rules and we derived the facts this is nothing but for uh, backward chaining okay and one attachment i have given with respect to same which is having problems based on uh, forward chaining and backward chaining so you can go through it thank you